Now, veterans of the Korean War are gathering today to mark 70 years since the end of the conflict. More than 1,000 British troops lost their lives, and many who fought in the war feel that their contribution has been forgotten, overshadowed by the Second World War. Celestina Oludede, Oludede has been meeting some veterans and hearing their stories. In my mind, the Korean War was one of the most brutal and bloodiest wars of the 20th century, simply because people don't know about the huge loss. Ronald Yardley was barely 18 when he became one of the tens of thousands of servicemen who fought in the Korean War. He served on board the Royal Navy cruiser HMS Belfast. The Korean War experience was the biggest learning curve in my life, without a shadow of a doubt. I was on a ship that was cramped with a thousand men, really cramped. And you had to learn to live with your colleagues, all of whom came from a different background from you. The conflict erupted after communist North Korea invaded the South in June 1950. In Korea, United Nations forces continued their offensive against the Reds, blasting the enemy with everything they got. In August, British troops arrived and helped launch a counterattack. In three years of combat, more than three million deaths, many military, many more civilians. Rifleman Kenneth Keld served in the Duke of Wellington's regiment in 1953. There'd been so much shell fire in that, that there were shell trenches were all, the bunkers were all, you know, blown in, there were bad bunkers. Uh, and they say there was smell of decay, you know, buried limbs and even bodies. Kenneth has been named in the King's Birthday Honours for his military service and will soon receive an MBE. But the fate of his fallen comrades continues to play heavy on his mind. We had to leave uh, the Korean soldiers what had fought alongside of us, but most of all the lads in the cemetery. Yeah, that was that was the more that was the, uh, we were leaving and uh, they knew when there was going to be casualties, but in the back of mind it was never going to be you, you know that 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 kept you going mostly. We were all we were all on the knife edge all the time, but you tried not to show it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, when we when we'd lost our most of our platoon, we got a new officer, and he came round. He said, uh, "Put it all behind you. Morning, your friends won't do we any good. Tomorrow's another day." It was easy saying that, and forgetting it was different. Yet the conflict is referred to by some as the Forgotten War but the service of these veterans is recognised. There's a letter from the president of Korea and halfway through it he says, South Korea went from a country that was receiving aid to one that is now giving aid. And that is a huge, huge step in any country's progression. But Ronald has one more wish. What us remaining Korean veterans want above all is for a peace treaty to be signed between South and North. If that was to occur, then we could all say to ourselves, our job has now been completed. <laughs>